So what, what piece of equipment really helps you generate swing speed? Well, the club doesn't help you generate swing speed. The ball doesn't. It's your connection to the ground. So therefore, it is your golf shoe. And so, you know, that's where we focus. And we focus in on the fact that it, it's all about balance stability and ground connection. And I had somebody here talk about the uh, weight distribution at the beginning of the swing. Where should it be from the left foot to the right foot? More on the front foot at the beginning of the swing or more at the back? I think the best you can do is try to get yourself balanced at 50-50. Now, when you're hitting a short iron, a, a nine iron, a pitching wedge, a sand wedge, you're going to be narrower and you can and you can pivot off this left rotary, my left leg, because I can just stay on my left side and 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 that's easier to hit down on the golf ball. If I just stay left, stay over the ball, boom. That's and I think that's fine for short shots, chip shots around the green. But when we're starting to to look for power, we have two points that hit the ground. Okay, and as we start, but for sure you're going to see these good any good players moving their feet. Nobody's just going to stand here, a good player, and just freeze over the golf ball and do nothing. Nobody's going to start with their weight way over you know to the left for to hit a driver. Uh, you're going to see. Uh, some players will load up a little bit on the right leg slightly early, and they may put 55 to 60 percent in the right leg. But you know, 50-50 is a, a good a good feeling for it. I've always told you know people the first move in the golf swing is a little movement toward the target. And like like everything in golf, it goes against what you would normally think is the right thing to do. But that would be a little forward press or a little bump with the hips. A little move maybe with the right heel. It can be very small, but a little move that gets you going, that gets you that rock into your back, into your backside. So there's definitely a pressure change into your back foot. Uh, the center of mass, my you can look at my belt buckle. My belt buckle is going to move behind it. I'm not going to do this to hit the ball far. Of course, it's just crazy to think that. But, and you, you're going to load here into a onto a flat right foot your weight would be as i mentioned a little bit toward the right heel but you're going to get behind the golf ball so you can move into it and hit it with your whole mass uh, there's so many people that are just swinging their arms and hitting it with their arm power and their wrist power maybe trying to keep their head really steady which can i'm not saying that can be bad advice at time it can be good but the head's going to have a little turn a little move and after you hit it, you can maybe have a freeze frame here and then your eyes and head release to the target and you're hitting it with the whole body, not just with your arms and your hand and definitely not out of sequence where you start down, as we said right from the beginning of the show, not with the, the right shoulder starting the downswing or where you put that tension in your hands and arms from the top. We want to use gravity in golf. We want to use the ground. We want to use our feet knees. I think the knees and the feet have been left out of kinematic sequence, which has always been first the hips, then the shoulders, then the arms, then the hands. But really, it should be the feet and knees first, then the hips, then the shoulders, then the arms, then the hands to max out, you know, full distance in, in the golf swing. 